I know you're scared for me, Maggie. Of course I am. But you've been so great. I mean, you have helped me so much, more than you know. It's not enough. It is enough. It is, Maggie. Just knowing that I have somebody who loves me and who understands. You're exactly what I need. But I'm just feeling my way along here. You know, I'm not a crisis counselor and I'm not a shrink and I just don't know... God, I don't know the first rule about what I should be doing the in this situation. The first rule is that you care. Yeah, and what if I'm messing you up? You are not messing me up. If you were in an accident and if you were hit by a car, I wouldn't just slap a band-aid on you and hope for the best. I would send you to a doctor. Oh, no. Maggie, no, no doctor. Why don't you just talk to David? You know that no. he can help you. I said no. Why not? Why not? Listen, Maggie, you swore to me that you were never going to breathe a word of this to anyone. You swore on our love for Frankie. Yes, and I, I did swear to you, and I will not break that promise. Ever. Promise me that, that you'll think about it, okay? Okay, I'll think Promise about it. me. drinks, okay? Yes. Now I'm going to come back, and we will clean this all together. Deal? Deal. Okay. I want you to sit, <laughs> and I don't want you to move. One muscle. Not one. Okay. Yes, please. Hey, you. I didn't know you were still here. Hi. Yeah, well, Bianca still thinks that the wedding's going to continue. Really? Well, she's not as cynical as I am. Well, it was something, huh? A wedding interrupt us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bianca was pretty upset. Yeah, she was. But, you know, we were just talking. Really bonding, actually. And I have hope that she's going to be okay. That's what I call speedy service. 